Okay, so I'm working on this uh, display thing. This is an 8-bit display. So it's an 8-bit interface with an Arduino. And it's refreshing the screen. And then it's writing different font sizes. I have a little error with the font I'm trying to work on, but uh, I basically I think I've accelerated this display as fast as it can go. That's cycling through eight colors and different font sizes. And then I think we're going to do a menu thing. Uh, I'm going to get a menu thing. I'm I might use a menu program on this, but uh, the other thing too is I activated the touch screen. But um, I want to do some more graphic stuff. So here, here's me rebooting it again. Yeah, waiting a second. And then it going through and doing the really fast uh, refresh. Anyway, this is just a demo. And I'm having some issues with some of the smaller fonts. But I think I'll get it fixed soon. And I think I'll make it so that uh, display act. Oh, yeah, the display is sensitive enough to work with uh, ear fingers. I don't think most of them are set up to be that sensitive. But that's, that's what I got so far. It works about, oh, actually about 400 times faster than the default software. Uh, and uh, it allows any pin to be set up. So it's not dependent on a parallel interface. It, it's serial. Hey, excuse me, it's parallel. It could run serial interface and it can also run. Uh, uh, any pin, so you can set up Arduino to in use any pin. In fact, this one was set for um, the regular Arduino, and I'm using it with the Mega. I'm going to use this for um, one of my 3D printers, actually, but I've just been mesmerized about trying to optimize the driver. Anyway.